Uh, all right, hey, let's shift our focus because the Chicago Marathon is less than a couple weeks away. And while a lot of the focus is going to be on the front runners, there is one person who might just steal some of the spotlight. Yeah, he's an Iraq war veteran who was nearly killed by a grenade. And today he keeps on running to support soldiers who were injured in combat. United States Marine Corps veteran Michael Mendoza joins us right now to share more about his mission. Hey, thank you for coming on. No problem. Thanks. For yeah, absolutely. You know, there's no question. You, you made quite the sacrifice when you went and served our country. You are the recipient of a Purple Heart. I mean, let's just say you are unstoppable when I hear this, but we understand that you plan to run not only our Chicago Marathon on the 10th, then you plan to go to the Boston Marathon right after. Wow. Uh, some people might ask, are you crazy? <laughs> uh, yeah, some people have said I am a little bit uh <laughs> Uh, a little bit crazy. Um, so yeah, I'll be running the Chicago Marathon. And as soon as I finish that, as soon as I cross the finish line, I'm jumping on a plane, headed out to Boston, and then I'm running the Boston Marathon right away. Well, look, I'm looking at you here on video. You're a handsome fella. You're wearing a nice polo shirt. You look completely healthy and ready to run. And yet, to Anita's point, uh, you were injured in a blast. So this makes what you're doing that much more challenging. Can you share with our viewers just a little bit about what you went through? Yeah, you know, I'm very lucky to tell you the truth. Uh, I'm very grateful just to be here. I do have friends that don't have arms. I have friends that don't have legs. I have friends that lost their eyesight. I that didn't even. Um, so I need to take a grenade to the chest and it did it hit both my lungs. It ruptured my diaphragm. It injured my stomach, which had to be repaired. Uh, my small intestines, a portion of that was removed. Uh, lost my spleen. And then mm -hmm. I battled with infections for quite some time. But to tell you what, I was able to bounce back from that. And the way I bounced back from that is, you know, recovery through sport. You know, I run, I cycle, um, I, I, I wrestle, I like to... Uh, I like to climb. I like to do a lot of things. Good for you. So you're, you're doing this now to raise money for others. What are you doing? What, tell us a little bit about how this is going to help others who are also suffering from injuries. So it actually benefits them, benefits them uh, in a, very, a bunch of different ways. Um, some guys who don't have legs, they can get, you know, a hand cycle, which basically they sit down you know, basically uh, in a cart with wheels and then they, they'll be able to run or cycle marathon with their hands. Uh, s some of the money that's raised, actually a lot of the money that's raised goes for the prosthetics, goes for the travel. So it benefits pretty much all the injured service members that were wounded in combat. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't know any other way uh, for me to use my, I guess my skills to raise money. And I'm, all, all I'm doing is basically sacrificing my own body. And what I try to do is I try to raise about a thousand bucks per race. Um, I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but to me, that's a lot. Well, it is a lot, and bless you for that. Marine Corps veteran Michael Mendoza running two marathons in two months. Uh, Godspeed to you. Uh, we're going to be rooting for you. Within back to back. Back to back. So within oh, really quickly, where can people donate if they want to get involved and help you out? Where do they go? So you can actually go to December5fund.org. Uh, uh, that's a great organization. That's the organization that assisted me when I got injured. They're the ones that sent my family to my bedside when I was injured. Oh, wow. Okay, thank you very much for that, and thank you again for your service. Thank you. No, thank you. Yeah.